It is Friday, November 19th, and our top news story. Today, Newfoundland and Labrador has four new confirmed cases of COVID-19. Of the new cases, one is located in the Eastern Health Region and three are located in the Central Health Region. There have been seven new recoveries and there is currently no one in hospital due to COVID-19, leaving 19 active cases in the province. In other news still, still related to COVID-19, Health Canada has authorized the use of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine in children ages 5 to 11. This is the first vaccine authorized in Canada for use in this age group and marks a major milestone in Canada's fight against COVID-19. And finally, the province will foot the bill for those who traveled for appointments that were cancelled after, after the cyber attack. For flights, ferries and buses and taxi car rentals, 100% of the funds will be reimbursed. Anyone using a private vehicle will receive 20 cents per kilometer. Purchase accommodations will be reimbursed up to $125 nightly. Receipts are required and private accommodations will receive $25, $25 per night. Meals will be reimbursed $29 for each patient and escort. Your weather forecast is coming up right after this. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet, connect to what matters. As we take a look at your weather forecast, there are some weather alerts in effect. There's a wreck house wind warning in effect, and also uh, some uh, wind warnings in effect for uh, portions of the south coast. Uh, as we head through tonight, winds may gust to 100 kilometers per hour. The forecast now overnight tonight, St. John's, we are looking at uh, the temperature remaining steady around 10 degrees. We are looking at uh, about five millimeters of rain, and the winds will be coming from the south, 50 gusting to 70. Gander tonight, 6 degrees with some rain expected, and in Corner Brook tonight, getting down to 3 with about 5 to 10 millimeters of rain in the forecast. Now, as we head into uh, your Saturday, we'll start out in Labrador, coastal sections through to Happy, to Happy Valley Goose Bay is looking at a mix of sun and cloud. As we head into uh, western Labrador, it will be uh, quite cool, temperatures around minus 7, and there is a chance that we could see some flurry activity. Moving on now to the island portion of the province, it's going to be uh, a bit more unsettled. Uh, for western Newfoundland, we are looking at a risk of some showers or some flurries, depending on where you are. Zero in St. Anthony, one in Port Saunders, and four in Port Abbas. As we head to the south coast, there is a chance that we could see some showers as well. And uh, for central and uh, the Avalon, we are looking at some shower activity. So for St. John's tomorrow, we are looking at about five to 15 millimeters of rain and a daytime high of seven. Sunday and Monday, we are looking at a mix of sun and cloud. And then as we head into Gander, we are looking at five millimeters of rain for tomorrow and a similar story, uh, the same as St. John's for Sunday and Monday, a mix of sun and cloud is expected. And then as we head into Corner Brook, a chance of flurries or rain showers in three tomorrow and a mix of sun and cloud for Sunday through to your Monday. That is the latest news and weather forecast. And now you can check out newfoundnews.ca for more.